Hello, Mr. Cosmo. Why aren't you having a nap? Why aren't you having a nap? Are you tired? Got your cow, cacao? Yeah? Be cuddles for cacao. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So we're just about to do something really, really exciting. So a couple of days ago, Cosmo and Sylvie turned six months old, which I still kind of can't really believe that they are already half a year old. Um, but what that means is we are going to embark on our journey to start solid food. Um, and I just have little Cosmo down here with me. He's meant to be taking a nap, um, but he didn't want to, did you? He looks very tired though. And Sylvie's having a sleep. Um, so they're gonna be a bit off schedule today, I guess, but I guess he just didn't wanna miss out on any of the action. So what we're gonna do is um, before we start solids a little later today, before the babies have their very, very first try of um, food, we are going to set up their new chairs. So we've got some high chairs for them to sit in. I can't stop looking at you cheeky boy. To sit in so they can have their first foods. So we've got their chairs over here. We've got the trip traps one for you and one for your sister that's right and we're gonna set those up so if you guys have been following for a while you might remember we had a similar chair for the triplets when they were little actually it wasn't just for the triplets it was for all six of the other kids um, it wasn't this brand though it was sort of a knockoff brand um, and we don't have those anymore because, well, they honestly weren't the best quality. The seat always fell out of them. And we ended up putting them away when the triplets got to a certain age. Um, some of you might remember this too. They would push the chairs to the light switches, all different light switches on different parts of the house. And they would switch, 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 switch. Um, all three of the triplets did that and we had a really hard time with it so we ended up putting the chairs away and we didn't have chairs or a dining table for some time while they sort of got over that hump of that age and um, I said this before I think but yeah so I feel like when you've got a single baby it's kind of easy to say to you know try and tell them no um, but that didn't work with the triplets. They listened to each other more than they listened to us. So they thought, cool, um, Rufus is playing with the light switches. I'm going to do that too. It must be the okay thing to do. Two of them would be doing it. The third would be like, yeah, I'm gonna do that too. And to be honest, even now they're five years old, nearly six, they still sort of have that pack, pack mentality a bit, but obviously they don't completely ignore um, our requests and instructions and stuff, but they still have that pack mentality a bit. I'm hoping twins is a little bit more chill than triplets. Um, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, uh, we're going to get started on building these chairs and I don't know how long Cosmo is gonna stick around for because he looks so tired. I think you are, aren't you? You're gonna help us build the chairs? Do you wanna help? Oh, sweet boy. All right, so we've got Daddy here to help. Help build the goods. Hopefully, these are pretty straightforward. Yeah. Hopefully, they're not too difficult to build. Little Mr. Coco is gonna help us out. Ooh, nice, Cosmo, that's yours. What do you think? <laughs> so what's really special about these is we um, chose to get them personalized, so they, they um, offer a personalization. Are you ready for the reveal? I'm ready, let's see. Oh, so nice. Isn't that so nice, Coco? That says Coco. Well, it says Cosmo. That's your <laughs> name. That's your name, by the way, it's Cosmo. I love it, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Where do you think it should be? That at the top or that at the bottom? 
Uh, I think the personalized part should be at the top. I think. What do you think? Yeah, I think that was the first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, we finished the chairs. I love how they look. So we've got Sylvie and we've got Cosmo. And who have we got down here? Hello, beautiful. Sylvie is up from her nap. Hi, Sylvie. <laughs> She's checking out the chairs. What do you think? Do you like them? Yeah. <laughs> I think they look pretty cool. So we've got the baby sets on them. These are the baby sets here. I guess that's just so the baby doesn't fall out. And um, when they eat, you put it up to the table. So you have the chair against the table and they can sit with everyone else. <gasps> You're gonna sit with your siblings and have some dinner? Yeah. You ready for food, Coco? Are you ready? All right, is everyone gonna have a banana? Everyone yeah. go for it. Eat the banana. We've got a banana. <laughs> so all the kids are having banana too. So the twins can get an idea on what they're meant to be doing. Oh, is that okay? Do you wanna try it? Hi. Oh, what do you think, Sylvie? Is that yum? guys so it's currently the next day we had a lot of fun yesterday um, trying out the twins with their very first foods they had some banana and then they had a bit of avocado and I was only planning on trying one food at a time but I thought that since they weren't really that interested I just wanted to try a couple of things um, in their defense the banana was a bit unripe so it was quite slippery and then avocado is just generally quite slippery as well so I think they had a bit of a hard time even grabbing onto the things to eat them I know a lot of people like to start babies off with their first foods by spoon feeding them but I like doing the the baby led weaning style um, of introducing their first foods and just feeding them in general when they start eating their solids. We've pretty much done a bit of a combination with all of our kids. Um, Evan was mostly spoon fed and then with Otto and Felix we did more baby led weaning and then with the triplets we went back to doing spoon feeding a bit more because um, we just found it a bit easier with them considering there were three of them and we just found it easier to know that they were getting their food intake if we were um, spoon feeding them. So they were more spoon fed while they were like littler. Um, and we'll probably do a bit of a combination with these guys as well. I think that spoon feeding is good with things like porridge and like, you know, like oats and um, yogurt and things like that. But I think that with, you know, like vegetables and fruits and stuff, it's really nice for them to be able to learn to like pick it up and eat it themselves and kind of just go at their own pace with it. So I feel like yesterday was a little bit of a fail. Sylvie did sort of enjoy it and Cosmo just did not at all. And I don't know if it, he just was feeling a bit tired yesterday or if he's just not really gonna be that into it. We're gonna try again today. And we've actually just bought uh, a tray. We bought them both a tray for their chair. Um, because I do love that the chair can, the trip truck can go up to the table, but I also think it would be nice to have a tray so they can just, um, have their own little area, their own little table, I suppose. Um, we can change it up. We can do both, but, but we're going to feed them again today. I've just put some sweet potato in the oven. So I just put it in the oven by itself with no oil or anything like that, no seasonings. And I hope it's a bit easier for them to grip this one. And I'm interested to see if they enjoy it. Got some sweet potato. Here you go. Okay. Yes, it's for you. He just wants my finger. Here you go. I'll put it down for you. Help us. Are you gonna give it? 
Sie toll fand. Those are your fingers. <laughs> You're gonna eat the food, not just your fingers. <laughs> he thinks he's eating the food. Maybe <laughs> he's just eating his hand. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> It'll be yum. So these two bubbers definitely seem so different from each other. Sylvie has gotten right into it and she is super keen and she's just munching away on it. Um, and Cosmo is a little more apprehensive and I think he just kind of has to figure it out. Like he has to figure out that the food goes in his mouth. What he's been doing right now is he, he picked up the food, he put it in his mouth for a second and then he put his fingers in his mouth and now he's just chewing on his fingers and I think he thinks he's eating the food but it's just his fingers. Anyway, we're gonna try with a whole bunch of different foods, you know, over the next few months. And yeah, we're just really excited to see them eating. They're getting so big, aren't you, Bubba? <laughs> anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye, turn it off. Solid food. <laughs>